Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at Comic Party for the Dreamcast. This game was developed by Aqua Plus, released in 2001 and it's a port of a PC game, though the original contained a number of decidedly pornographic sequences, those were removed for the console release. Comic Party was also later adapted into a series of manga and anime, but I'm not really familiar with those, so I can't really say whether or not there's any porno in them. Although I think not, as the setting was changed from college in the game to high school in the animated series. The plot is centered around Kazuki Sendo, an artistically inclined college student living in Tokyo, who's invited by his friend Taishi to an event known as Comic Party which is modeled after the real-life Kamaket, a convention dedicated to amateur manga and other self-published works known as Dojinshi. While at the titular event, Kazuki is surprised to see thousands of people in attendance and also finds himself really enjoying the amateur art, as well as meeting some really good-looking women there, a number of them being popular Dojinshi artists themselves. Taishi then convinces Kazuki that the two of them should partner up and produce doujinshi of their own. But Kazuki's childhood friend Mizuki is opposed to the idea, as when she thinks doujinshi, she thinks otaku, whom she believes to be geeky, disgusting perverts. This view is supported when we are introduced to some geeky, disgusting perverts. But it doesn't really matter as Kazuki decides almost immediately that he wants to draw doujinshi. And really, Given some of the women he's met here, you can't really blame him. So, a large portion of the gameplay in Comic Party is that of a dating sim, which I don't mind telling you isn't exactly my favorite genre. I find them very boring. It's as though you stripped away all of the gameplay elements that make RPGs enjoyable and left only the dialogue segments. You have some rather lengthy conversations with various young women and are occasionally given the option of choosing your responses, which, depending on what they are, can either make them like you more or less. This presumably had the end goal of a sexual encounter in the original PC release, but as I said, all of the pornographic elements were removed from the console release, so I guess they might become your girlfriend or something? You can sometimes go on dates, very boring dates, or you just meet with your love interests, either by chance, by calling them on the phone, or just running into them at the comic party itself, but no matter the situation, the result is always lots and lots of dialogue. The rest of the game basically has you managing the day-to-day -day of Kazuki's life, mostly the production of his doujinshi. You choose which style you want to create, how many pages you want to include in your books, and what level of quality you want for your cover, and the more you spring for, the higher your costs are. Once you've decided on these things, get ready to spend a lot of time drawing, which is accomplished through a couple of different mini-games to illustrate the cover and the pages of your book respectively. Drawing the pages requires specific movements of the analog stick, and drawing the cover requires a series of presses of the face buttons. And while drawing the cover can be accomplished in pretty short order, it can take forever to draw the pages of your book as this has to be accomplished three times and progress is rather slow. On top of that, the more pages contained in your book equals more time spent on illustrating them. So get ready to draw and draw and draw some more.
Aside from working on your books, you can also earn a little extra money by working a part-time job at a manga store. Go outside to explore a couple of different locales, watch a bit of TV, or have Kazuki take a rest to recover his energy from all that drawing. Once you've completed the illustrations for your book, you go to get them printed. Again, the more copies you get, the more money you spend. And then it's off to Comic Party to try to sell your books. How many you sell depends on the quality of your work and how much you charge for each copy. And that's basically the entire game. Talk to girls, draw manga, and go to Comic Party. Wash, rinse, and repeat. It's my understanding that the game ends after a couple of years of in-game time. And I just don't have the patience for that. My overall assessment of the gameplay in Comic Party is repetitive and very boring. That's basically my assessment of the graphics and sound as well. Aside from the intro movie, which is pretty nice, the game is nothing but static images of characters over backgrounds. Very little changes, and you see the same environments over and over again, which are also totally static. The character designs are nice enough, you get your typical anime characters, and they all have distinct enough looks, but it would still be better if there was some actual animation. The music is pretty underwhelming as well, just passive, forgettable background music. I wasn't really expecting much, it's not like there's any insane action going on or anything. But still, it's pretty flat. The voice work is pretty good though, but if you don't speak Japanese or can't play an English patch version, it won't make much difference to you anyways. So, I reviewed this game as an example of other similar games that were released on the Dreamcast. Of all the dating sim games I have for this system, and I admittedly have quite a few, this is the one that I found to be the most entertaining, and to be honest, it bores me to tears, which doesn't exactly speak very highly of the others. If you're into imports on the Dreamcast, do yourself a favor and pass on this and similar games. If you're really into dating sim games though, then by all means, enjoy. Enjoy.